back here with Thomas Bakun, goalie for the Washington Capitals. You're out here working with some of the out here in Coral Springs, <laughs> uh, like usual. Um, you know the Southeast Conference as well as any uh, Southeast Division as well as anybody. Does that help you a little bit going to the Capitals? Yeah, I don't think I'm. You know, it's not as drastic as when I get traded from Nashville. Like, uh, obviously, not playing. I start playing against teams I really hardly ever played before, and and uh, uh, you know now I'm basically staying in the same division and, and uh, obviously in the same conference. So I think it's going to be a little easier. Uh, uh, you know, I you know I'm four years older too, so. Yeah. You know, this is that was my first real move in NHL after nine years in one team. So that was, you know, it was a little bit tougher. Now I, you know, I done it once, and and uh, like I said, it's uh, you know I, I see it as an opportunity, not, not something to, you know, like obviously, and we already talked about it. The one on first July was kind of down, but uh, you know, you shake it off and. You know, I'm not. No, there, it's not still not bad. You know, I'm getting paid to play hockey. So uh, there's a lot of people in the world. Uh, you know, can say they're doing what they love uh, and get paid paid to do it. So uh, I'm still enjoying, and uh, you know, I'm still. So it's actually makes me makes me more eager to play. Six games against the Florida Panthers. Uh, what kind of scouting report can you give the Caps? I mean, it's a whole new bunch, right? I mean, exactly. There's not yeah. many new guys. So it's like, you know, I, I, I can, you know, I can bring much inside now. You know, it's gonna be. Uh, I probably know as many people on Washington Capitals as yeah. I do on Panthers yeah. now. So it's like, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's business. You're used to it as a player, and you know, this is an extreme, uh, uh, a little bit extreme, uh, obviously, but. Uh, but you know what? It's they move in different direction, and uh, obviously they, you know, they were set, and they want to try to change things here. And uh, so, you know, you look at it. It's been a lot of changes over the years here, and you know, hopefully this is one of the last ones, and the team's gonna stay for their sake. You know, put together for a while, and uh, and uh, but like I said, it's uh, you know, it's business, and uh, obviously uh, uh, that. With uh, different uh, different people come different approaches and changes, and that's just you know you gotta expect that when you when you play in national hockey. The Panthers fired Peter DeBoer day after the season, ironically a win against the Capitals. Um, you, you guys didn't have the greatest relationship in the world. It was it as bad as it had been made. Uh, you know what? As bad, uh, you know. I, I think Pete is uh, uh, just like everybody. He came into the NHL. Uh, I was his three, first three years, and he was, you know, he was disappointed. Obviously, uh, I don't think he had a team he expected he would have, and you know, uh, uh, you know, and everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes, uh, uh, you know, certainly everybody. So, did he? Did he? In my opinion, did he make some mistakes? Yes, he did. But uh, on the other hand, you know. When he came, he was a rookie coach, and you know everybody gets to learn. I mean, I when I came into the NHL, I made a tons of mistakes over the years, and as I went, and you know it wasn't easy. I, I you know, uh, f to be fair, uh, you know he got the team he had, he, you know. But then other uh, your as a as a coach description, you, you know you coach the guys you have, and, and that's that's the end of it. You can't be worried about who you have, who you don't have, and stuff like that. So. You know, looking back, it wasn't as bad as you know. There was moments when, when it was kind of like, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't great. But uh, on most of the time, you know, we didn't we didn't have any problem. It wasn't anything personal too. It's, you know, it's he's a competitor. He wanted to win. Uh, same with me. Sometimes we disagree on some uh, some calls he made, but uh, I'm sure, you know, some stuff I did he disagrees. So uh, you know, it's. It's all about communication in between people, and you know, just like I move on, he move on to the different stage of his career. So, uh, like I said, you know, I'll wish him the best, and uh, you know, there's no hard feelings. Nothing. Whatever he did, he didn't do it intentionally to hurt Thomas Vokon or or Stefan Weiss or somebody. He did it, you know, because he thought it was the best thing he can do to win hockey games, and uh, uh, you know. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do it, and that's just the truth. So. All right, Tasukun, thank you. You're welcome.